NBA Comedy Moments The competition in basketball is intense. It's a brutally competitive sport where physical size and strength are paramount. To reach the top level of the game, one needs physical prowess, intelligence, and a remarkable mental aptitude. Some situations, though, become quite comical with or without malice. There are some famous jokesters in the sport. Players like Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal have won hearts worldwide with memorable soundbites and comments that could be the subject of their slideshows. So what are the funniest moments of NBA players? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Remember to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to make sure you get all the updates. Let's start the video. It's a league where passion and earnestness reign supreme but the humor often gets in the way. Amer Stoudemire fools Shane Battier with a fakeout. NBA player Amer Stoudemire did not have a good year. His ailments, seeming lack of enthusiasm, and lack of production irritated his fans. He was a part of the overrated New York Knicks team that was eliminated from the playoffs in the first round as the no. 7 seed by the eventual NBA champion Miami Heat. In the 2012 postseason, he slashed his hand open with a fire extinguisher out of fury, an injury that will be remembered for its severity. Stoudemire had a disappointing season, and this video says it all. Fair play, Stoudemire got fouled out of the game, and Shane Battier was a complete bust. Intended or not, the frustration in the heat of the moment created a rather funny film. Tiago Splitter is a problem for Stephen A. Smith. Let me preface this slide by noting that I despise Skip Bayless. I don't often agree with him, and 9 out of 10, I'm afraid I have to disagree with anything he says. Now that we have that out of the way, this is one of the few times I agree with Skip. I have to disagree with Stephen A. Smith wholeheartedly on Tiago Splitter's talent and worthiness of praise. However, Smith's approach to presenting his argument is rather entertaining. It doesn't appear like his biggest concern is with Splitter's basketball ability, but rather, his highly unusual name. Smith's delivery, as over-the-top as it frequently is, is hilarious, especially in this one. Many people have issues with Smith's behavior and ideas as much as Bayless. The look of defeat on Mitch Kupchak's face. General manager Mitch Kupchak of the Los Angeles Lakers was not pleased as he watched Kobe Bryant and the Lakers get swept in the 2012 NBA playoffs. He stood there, frowning, in the heart of the raucous Oklahoma City Thunder fans. Luckily for us viewers, the producers had a perfect plan for what to do as they eliminated Lay, and they knew precisely where he was standing at the time. Dramatic close-up here. Kupchak's agonized face conveyed the rest, and the commentary on ESPN's Around the Horn boosted the experience. Lakers fans will be hoping Kupchak doesn't have to make this face again this season after he reportedly took it personally and helped put together one of the best NBA off-seasons in recent history. Some wives can count on some assistance from Shaquille O'Neal. Not only was Shaquille O'Neal the most dominant big man in NBA history, but he also had a commanding personality and was entertaining in both the locker room and on the court. As a basketball player, he is among the all-time funniest. There were occasions when it was done out of pure, unadulterated hatred. In most cases, Shaq was acting silly, as seen below. Shaq displays his wit on the fly during this press conference by owning the reporter who posed the incomprehensible question. In the video's final frame, he makes a hilarious hand gesture as if to acknowledge his joke. Whether Shaq's response at the end of the video or the your wife joke, which do you think is funnier? Sincerely, I'm at a loss as to which option to choose. There was absolute value in either interpretation. Worst golf swing ever. Charles Barkley. I consider the round mound of rebound one of the best big men to play in the NBA. Charles Barkley was intimidating in the NBA, and his opponents feared him. He also had his share of funny moments so this isn't his last appearance in the gallery. Charles Barkley has never been bashful about his love of golf, and he talks the game with the swagger and self-assurance of Tiger Woods, but his swing makes Happy Gilmore appear like he's got it together. This clip is a beautiful representation of his arduous efforts to strike a golf ball. Every time he takes a swing, it looks like he has second thoughts, stops, and then chooses to finish it in approximately 15 clumsy motions. 
Undoubtedly among the most disgusting things I've ever seen, but the beauty of it is hard to resist, especially since Barkley made it. There are no people in Cleveland who like Joachim Noah. It seems like I've been the target of booze my whole life. In a news conference where he was asked about an interview in which he ripped Cleveland, Joachim Noah gave a summing up performance of his life. Noah, a divisive and high energy player, took his act off the court when he declared his hatred for Cleveland and then backed it up in a press conference, despite the ire of the city's avid basketball fans. The press conference scene, in which he casually tells the assembled reporters not to worry since he has his pals, is easily the most entertaining aspect of the video. It's hard to feel sorry for Noel after the reaction he got in Cleveland, but he does have a point. Where does one find Cleveland vacationers? The 1992 Olympic Dream Team, of which Charles Barkley was a member, is a perfect fit. All of the Charles Barkleyisms in this video was captured in a short amount of time at the 1992 Summer Olympics. Angola is in crisis, but I don't know anything about it, he said. It's been described as spring break for the poor. The commentator in the video captures Charles' attitude toward fame precisely when he says that Barkley enjoys attention and crowds. Although this movie is full of Barkley's witticisms, it is only fair to offer what may be his greatest ever quote which was spoken during the 1992 Olympic Games but was left out of this film. After a brief violent fight amid a dominant victory over Angola, Barkley said, if somebody touches me, I will hit them back. Yes, he does appear to have gone without food for a while. I was terrified he was going to spear me. Rob Barkley, he's so offensive it's hilarious. NBA star Alan Iverson hates training. As a kid, Alan Iverson was the player I looked up to. I blame his aggressive on-court character, the fact that he hailed from my city, and the fact that he played despite his lack of size for inspiring my ludicrous aspiration to play in the NBA. As a lifelong fan, I'd like to think that despite his struggles and frequent character criticism, he will go down in NBA history as one of the greatest pure scorers and greatest undersized players of all time. Moreover, for missing one practice, I can't believe you haven't seen this video already. It's one of the most famous sports gaffes ever and has been the subject of countless parodies, jokes, and replays. Why, of course. During this press conference, Everson's frustration with practice leads to a tirade unlike any other he has given before or since. He ends by asking rhetorically, how the hell can I practice to make my teammates better? At a Philadelphia 76ers press conference, he wore a hat advertising the Boston Red Sox. He welcomed the hatred. In addition to throw in Charles Barkley's just because. If I had to guess, you're beginning to understand. As a human being, Barkley is hilarious. It wasn't an exaggeration when I stated he should have his photo album of memorable sayings and quips. This video does a fantastic job of summing up some of the many qualities that made Barkley a phenomenal NBA player. His friendliness, humor, and most importantly, charm, both on and off the court, made him a fan favorite. When Barkley played against their teams, players, coaches and fans were forced to witness him routinely dunk on and grab rebounds from opponents. It was challenging to resist falling in love with his almost infantile personality even when their teams were getting killed. It's a mentality he's kept with him as he's transitioned successfully from NBA player to TV analyst and commentator. It's a good fit for him and he's settled in, although with some more weight, to a life of idle wittering. But for the time being, let's remember how Barkley's wit on the court helped him land the personality gig in the first place. This is it, everyone. So, what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you still need to. Also, put on the notifications because the following video is going to be a great one.